Well, one of a kind project is being developed on the Cal campus with the help of a 3D printer. An engineer is allowing a little girl to experience the life that she was missing out on. New at six, Don Ford shows us the super hand. It's never going to replace your hand, true to form, or your leg, or whatever um, uh, the prosthetic is for, but it should add to, um, to what's there. It's a life-changing technology, a prototype prosthesis nicknamed the super hand. Eight-year-old Sophie is the first child to wear it, and inventor grad student Daniel Lan remembers the first day he met Sophie. So she walked into the invention lab, but the thing is that she was smiling but hiding her hand behind. So she was kind of shy at first. Born with Sembrachydactyly, a condition leaving her left hand missing nearly all her fingers, only the thumb intact. But it's how the super hand is made that is remarkable. Designed and built on a 3D printer here at the Citrus Invention Lab at UC Berkeley. Strong enough for Sophia to hang from the monkey bars and no longer hiding her hand. If she has a hand, then she becomes like a cool kid in the class. Daniel is still tweaking the details of his design and already thinking about the future, thinking about making it even stronger. I think that's what next prosthetic has to be. Like, it can be upgraded and even it can be better than human's hand. So it can do something that our hand cannot do. So not just giving like same functionality with hand or like same looking, yeah. we can actually make it better. He says the goal ultimately, like Elon Musk did with a Tesla, is to give the design away free. Daniel hopes to have the version two of the design file completed by the end of the year, at which time he'll upload it to the internet where researchers around the globe can refine it even more. At UC Berkeley, Don Ford, KPIX5. It costs less than $10, excuse me, to make each prototype of the super hand. Customized prosthetic could cost up to $40,000. Wow, very cool.